Okay. It is October 23rd, 2019. My name's Jim Howard. I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. I'm uh, using OBS software for this. And I've moved my Logitech Brio camera up kind of high. I like those angles, the high angle. Uh, not sure that's the best place for the camera, though. Problem is, I've got these two monitors. I have a big desk, but... If I put the tripod, I have the tripod on the desk. If I put it off the desk, I've just got, you know, the door is here. You come through and there's the 20 gallon aquarium. Not much room to go through there. And if the tripod is there, same thing on this other side. I have a bed over there and just a narrow path there to get through. And like I said, this is a big desk and I've moved it many times. And so I don't know. Uh, looks like OBS is working okay. I don't think I've tried it for streaming yet since the new install. So maybe later tonight, like I said, this is October 23rd. I uh, may do some streaming later on. want to play with a few things here. I'm uh, a week or two ago, I signed up for groups.org. I O um, and I paid the ten dollars. You know, you can use it for free, but if you pay ten dollars a month, you get extra benefits. So I signed up for that. Okay, I do not know at this time how to change this image up here. Also, it says your groups, but uh, Find or create a group. Okay, wait, there's a group I know that just started. That's not one of my groups, but publicly listed groups, okay. It's Cal. Uh, town, I think, part of it. Here it is. Okay, um, it was created on the 18th, has one member. Uh, they have a group on, or had a group on Yahoo groups, but that is, uh, so let me see if I can, they're trying to get their memberships move, moved over or something. Um, so let me see if I can do this. Cowtown Amateur Radio. Okay, join the group. Okay, join this group. Congratulations, you're now a member of the Cowtown ARC, Amateur Radio Group. Here's some information that'll be helpful. All messages posted in this group will be sent to you at showmeblog at gmail.com. To post to the group, send an email to or visit the post page. Let's see here. I think the club is working to port over 
members from the Yahoo group. I am not sure what will happen since I joined here now. My my guess is that it will not port me over since I am using the same email address uh, groups why well, it should let me well, I don't know what I don't know I keep should let it keep my arm keep the let's see um, there we go to play with. Your message will be sent when it is approved by the moderators. Okay, so I'm in their group. Let me look around here a little bit. Okay, I actually stopped for a little bit, I changed the cameras. I didn't physically change them. I have two of them hooked up. The Brio's up there on a tripod. And that's the, uh, I think it's a C920 or the C930E or something. I think, think it's a C930E. Like I said, I'm using OBS. <clears throat> There's a whole bunch of stuff I do not know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, how to do fades, scene transitions, and 
uh, things like that. So things should only get better until I change some setting here. And I don't know how to get it. I'm, I don't know what I changed or how to get it. Then it'll be. So anyway, I wanted to look at the Cowtown. They're an amateur radio club here in Fort Worth, Texas. And I've been living here for years and years. I have, <clears throat> I think they have a meeting every Thursday night at their clubhouse. Uh, of course, they have a number of repeaters. I've used their repeaters before a little bit. Uh, I've never got around to joining the club and I would have joined uh, they don't have a way you can't use PayPal or something they need to set up so you can use PayPal because I would have joined for sure but sitting down and writing out a check or something I just don't do that anymore but anyway I need to get over to the uh, club some Thursday and when I do that I'd like to live stream it if the guys there are agreeable if not I'd like to record it and then maybe I could edit the video and post it but but I need to join you know pay the dues you don't have to you know what I mean but I mean I, I always try to support you know, things that I uh, use on the internet and clubs and organizations and things and you know, stuff like that. So I need to finally get around to paying the dues. And I need to uh, attend a meeting. Uh, I don't have a car, so I have to take, a, you know, an Uber or Lyft over there and back. That's not bad, except I wouldn't want to do it every... Thursday, but I don't see myself going to the club every Thursday. Uh, this is my, I have a couple, but this is my uh, ham radio. Whoops, oh, I forgot which camera. Okay. And it's uh, very easy to program, just punching the keys. And there's software for it. It's a software that is free with it. Uh, is a kind of a pain to uh, program. <clears throat> There's a company that sells uh, software where you can load in all the frequencies and uh, uh, things like that and the offset codes and uh, stuff like that. But I think that's about 40 or $50 because you have to get a different cable. Uh, Yezu, you know, they have software that's free that you can use <coughs> and it comes with the cable that you can use uh, but if you go the other route with this other company their software is better easier to use but you have to pay about a 50 but uh, I'm thinking when I go to the club that somebody will probably have one of these radios and somebody the clubhouse may even have the software and everything there to do, you know, so I could say, hey, could you just load into my uh, radio here all the local repeaters and everything, and I'm sure somebody will either have the same or have the, the club will maybe have software there and whatever, so that's what I need to do, because I just do not want to mess with it that much, I'm too lazy now, well, Anyway, let's look at their site. They haven't done anything yet to it. Uh, but maybe they've set something up. No, I have a feeling they haven't set anything up yet. Uh, yeah, I don't see any. <clears throat> I'm not sure if on my YouTube, if I'm, if I'm, not, if I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to... Um, guess I might as well go to my own group because they haven't done anything either. Uh, your groups. Okay, go here. See, I haven't done anything either. So, home. Okay, how in the world? Uh, 
Okay. Group settings. Messages. Shows how to subscribe. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to tie this in with YouTube in some, like be like this is going to be something that's extra or if everybody will be allowed access. I don't know. I might like to keep it sort of private. I don't know. Excuse me. I I see the audio input cap. Well, let me sh let me show you that. Let me drag this over so you can see it. This is the software I'm using. See the audio capture has got. What is it? 40 dBs of noise or, or background noise. Of course, that could be the aquarium pumps and my ex-wife in the other room talking. So. I doubt you could hear that, but I could with the headphones on. Uh, I live in an apartment complex here in West Fort Worth, and uh, the fire station is a few hundred feet away on the street. And uh, kind of nice <laughs> having the fire department that close. Although the, one of the apartments in here back a few years ago, I didn't hear anything or know. I was, I was sleeping. It was like I don't know, I think 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning. And the build, you know, the uh, the building it totally burned down. Nobody was injured. But it is nice having the fire department uh, that close. Uh, especially for medical reasons. They don't have an ambulance out of there, but uh, the guys are first responders and they can... Uh, they probably saved my life when I collapsed <clears throat> a few blocks away at Walgreens at about 9 p.m. or something like that and I was just going through the Walgreens doing some shopping and next thing I know I'm looking up at the cashier because I was heading over to the cashier with my cart and the next thing I'm looking up at the cashier and uh, I said what happened? And the uh, cashier said, you fainted. And I, I started to try to get up. She said, stay down, stay down. And we called 911. And I said, I don't, I don't need 911. And so then they got me the phone, you know, and I said, oh, I'm, I'm okay. I'm just going <clears> to <throat> call my son, forget whether it was my son or grandson, call them and have him come over. And then I'll, we'll go, you know, and then the ambulance guy showed up from here and uh, they said well let's check you they uh, hooked me up and said uh, I was weak too I should have you know uh, they said uh, I think he said 50 or 20 I forget what he said something and I said what's that Oh, and I was saying, well, I don't need to go to the hospital. I'll just have my son come over and walk me home. Uh, and he said 25 or something like that. And uh, I said, what's that? He said, that's your heart rate. And I said, I need to go to the hospital. And he says, yeah. So they got me out into, or no, well, no. So then the uh, <clears throat> ambulance showed up right away, too. Because I guess it was dispatched at the same time, but from a different. And uh, he actually hooked me up. I'm not sure if he if he got it. I think it was inside the ambulance. Got me in the ambulance, ran a strip, and then he turned to the other. 
I don't want to say driver. They get upset, you know, if you... <laughs> I understand that, that uh, you know, they're both trained firemen, both trained med, you know, uh, uh, paramedics, stuff like that. But anyway, you don't want to say, you know, if one guy drives, you know, so, but anyway, the other paramedic, the one, the one who would be driving, you know, <clears throat> one turn, you know, he said, uh, I got it on the strip or whatever, and he got, the, the, my heart was doing that on the strip, which really helped out the, I guess helped out me too, when I got there in, at the hospital and the uh, paramedics have to make their reports, you know. And they'd be very professionally, you know, and showed the strip. And it was like, that was okay. It's, you're you're going to probably get a pacemaker put in you. See, because my heart rate went back. I mean, I was, my blood pressure was, I had trouble getting IVs for the, you know, uh, everything, which is unusual for me. But, uh, so I might have gone to the if they if the paramedic had not got that strip. Uh, when a lot of times they don't because I I got in the ambulance and they were trying to stick me and both and having difficulty and then all <clears throat> all of a sudden uh, my blood my heart rate went back up <clears throat> and uh, things looked like they were kind of normal because in the beginning the paramedic that was working directly on me said. Uh, uh, Mr. Howard, uh, now don't be concerned, but we're going to go code three. I'm not sure he said code three. He might have said, we're going to go red lights and siren to the hospital. And I said, that's okay. And then uh, everything went back to normal. And the, he told the, uh, I started to say driver. He told the other paramedic, uh, uh, just, you know, normal speed. But uh, when they got me to the hospital, then when, because see, I would have got there, things would have been normal. Why did you faint? They might have thought, oh, you know. <clears throat> they'd, have, they'd have run blood work and they'd have found no alcohol. I don't drink at all, never have. Well, I mean, there's a few times when I was in Washington, D.C. Uh, for two weeks visiting my daughter and my son-in-law that I sat out because I sat on, on their patio and talked to him and, you know, had a beer and, uh, but I, I don't drink at all really ever. And, uh, you know, they would have done blood work and it would have came back no alcohol, but they very well might, you know, but when they had that, then when the cardiologist came in and says, I'm going to put you in, we're going to do some tests, but I think you probably should have a pacemaker put in you. And so I had a pacemaker put in me. So I'm sure there's multiple reasons for a pacemaker. My reason and a very common one is the heart, you know, there's two chambers or whatever. Maybe it's more, I don't know. What do I know? I don't know anything. But uh, the there's a nerve or a something that sends a signal over to the other side to pump the blood. And in some people like me, the signal is erratic or you don't get it at all. And then the heart just doesn't, you know, and that's the reason for the pacemaker. In my case, it's not, to, you know, it's not a defibrillator. It doesn't shock my heart. Uh, it just, sends a signal on a regular basis, pump, 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 and I've been doing fine. Anyway, back to this. Come on, guys, how? I like elephants, but, okay, subscription. Okay, members, integration, full featured, plain, individual messages. I gotta go through all these and uh, signature notifications uh, pending members invite direct ad integration settings domains donations 
settings. What is that? Okay, website. Excuse me. Spam control. Message policies. This is not really like a blog. It's uh, more like a message form. Calendar, chats, subgroups, files, photos. Okay. Okay. Maximum size of photos. Okay. Uh. Sticky Wiki page. Okay, come on, my gosh. Okay, domains, promote, promote your group, get the word out to the social media. We make it easy to have a customized email with an invite link send to a list of your friends and you can always point people to your group home page. Okay. Embed a sign up form. Copy and paste into your site. Okay. Subgroups. Activity. Donations. Donations. Uh, Stripe. I don't, I'm not signed up for Stripe. Yeah, I think it's something sort of like PayPal, in a way. Uh, I'm already... Uh, I'm already paying $10 a, a month. Okay. Directory, photos... Files, database. Oh, I don't know. I can't. I don't. That's, that's, let's. So, YouTubey stuff. By the way, I really like this start page. That's what all this is. All this is the start page. It's free, but of course I pay. Uh, I forget how much for it. I tr I'm poor, but I try to, I have, since 1982, I've been, uh, I don't know how many chat, pro before there was a World Wide Web and stuff, I don't know how many uh, webcam program, it wouldn't be webcam, it would be, you know, that I paid for, how many things I, I try to sign up and pay it you know and pay for things I don't have a, a lot of people from the internet days from the old days and it's carried over to people who are also I think even young and don't know anything about the history it, there's a thing like I don't want to pay for anything you know I made a lot of you know small donations over the over the years I had before there was the World Wide Web. Um, I had people donate like a hundred dollars, hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, a person bought me a brand new bicycle. You know, had it sent to me. Uh, had several cameras sent. You know, sent to me nice cameras. Uh, what all? Let's see. But then when the, you know, World Wide Web got here, then everybody went there and then, uh, you know, eventually uh, YouTube and all these others, Facebook and those things showed up. So I, I can't remember the last time I got a, can't remember the last time I got a donation and certainly nothing. Of course, I did have, because of Amazon, I had a, a lot of stuff sent to me to review until, and some expensive stuff, uh, 
four or four hundred and fifty dollars worth of uh, uh, routers and net switches and all that kind of stuff and other stuff <clears throat> but then Amazon decided that because so many people were getting five stars that uh, I must be not being an honest broker and uh, removed all of my over a thousand I don't know how many a lot and to all of the Amazon reviews that I did you know there were it was written text and a link a or a video was included in it and so a lot of work and of course I was kind of wore out doing it but uh you know they they gave me no advance notice or anything else so I mean all of a sudden it was like uh well not all of a sudden I think it'd been a while and uh somebody one of you all probably said Jim your uh your reviews are gone on Amazon and I went over sure enough they were all gone and I can't post a review and <laughs> What I did, which I think, and I think I mentioned that on here, and I think only two or three people commented, and I think all of them disagreed with me. But the people that I had contacted me, for the most part, were young Chinese. And they were, like, sold, I think, a bill of goods over there. Hey, you want to get rich in America, or, you know, get rich from America, from Amazon or whatever, here's you, you buy our products here, keyboards, and everything, I mean, just everything, hats, straws, I mean, any, anything, and so they would, uh, young person, I guess, maybe take out a loan, maybe they had money, maybe their family gave, you know, and they buy the product, and then they put it on Amazon, and they were convinced that they positively had to have five stars or the world would end for them, you know. And it was easy to tell on that. And uh, so, um, if the product really wasn't any good, if I couldn't give it five stars, I would contact them and say, you know, I know you really think you have to have five stars, whatever. I can't give you five stars. So, uh, do you want me to go ahead and do a review? Or do you want me just not to do the review? And they'd say, oh, no, no, don't do the review because it would destroy us and, you know, whatever. So I wouldn't do the review. And uh, I thought that was fair, reasonable. I did not do a review and say, you know, hey, this product is no good. I just didn't do a review. And I think a hundred, of course, it was like three or four of you, you know, people commented. And, uh, but so that ended up that I, that a lot of the people who had products reviewed by me, now I never took money, but I took free products, but I always, of course, put, you know, that this was sent to me, you know, this product was sent for me to, you know, for free and I get to keep it. And, uh, I had, in fact, I still have maybe three or four emails that I get. I can't review, you know, on Amazon. But uh, I got a lot of emails from people saying, hey, you know, we'll give you this product for free and all you have to do is give us five stars and, you know, uh, after you do the review and after you give us the five stars, you know, then we will pay for the, because most of the things, there was a few people that just, companies that just sent the product but there were, most of it, the way it worked out was, hey, I've got this keyboard or headset, you know, uh, and, um, you know, you purchase it, you know, pay for it. Then when you do your review, you know, then we will refund your money. There was a lot, though, that would, it got where they would just, you know, you purchase the item and then send us the, uh, you know,
you know, the uh, order number or whatever, and we'll send you your money right away. But an awful, there was a, I started to get, and now I, I, of course, I only get three or four emails a day from people wanting me to review on Amazon, which I can't do. Uh, and a whole bunch, it's, it's, the majority now is, uh, okay, uh, you, you know, you, you please do, of course, it's kind of broken English almost all the time, you know. You please do review. You give five stars. We send you. We we then pay you for the product or you know that you whatever. So anyway, I just my position now is I wish I could review on Amazon because what I did in the past was everything that I bought. I mentioned I've mentioned this before, but it's a good example. You know, I I got a uh, I purchased my first electronic scale. It's in the bathroom and uh, reviewed it. And I put in the review, you know, wow, I'm used to the standing on the thing and the spring thing. And I, you can't see down to the what the thing is. And this is, you know, gives you pounds or kilograms or whatever and, you know, point whatever. And it's really neat. And so I would up when the battery, you know, after six months or a year, the battery, I would go back to that place and put, okay. You know, it's, I purchased this on such and such a date, and the uh, battery lasted, you know, nine months or whatever. I just put in a new battery. I went back to that site again. You know, okay, I just put in the, you know, another battery for this, and it lasted. You know, so I updated it for now, not for a bunch of the other, you know, for the, but for, and uh, so I've I've purchased a lot of stuff. I would like to be at something, you know, the stuff that's good, well, okay. But I've purchased some stuff that's not been good. You know, chairs. Uh, what else? Anyway, I would like to be able to give up, warn people about some of the uh, products, but can't do it. Of course, I can do it on YouTube, you know, but. Okay, uh. Getting ready to stop. I think I'm going to go ahead and just finish this because I want to see what the, uh, uh, put these two sections together that I made and upload it. And it's 6 15 p.m. Central Time. And I'm thinking that if this works okay, I'll try streaming. And probably do that later on. So I'm going to stop now and load this into Movidia, I think. Uh, Movidia video editor. And all these things, by the way, I've paid for. And they're all coming due. And I've even, like Manicam, paid for lifetime membership and I forget what else, several things, you know, for, and uh, they've just come out with a new uh, Manicam and I have to pay to, you know, and that's happened over the years. In fact, one of the, well, not the first webcam program because that guy was great, but after I've paid for, I don't know how many, before the World Wide Web. Uh, anyway, I've paid for something, you know, lifetime you never have to pay again. And then a year later, uh, yeah, you need to pay. Uh, this, I said this, you know, it was lifetime. Uh, well, no, that was just for webcam XP or whatever, you know, and now we've gone to webcam XP 3.0. So you need to, I mean, and that's happened repeatedly. That makes, pisses me off. Manicam has just, has an upgrade and I've been using, I'm not using it now, but uh, I've been using it a lot and it just pisses me off that I've, uh, that it just never ends. I mean, come on guys, there's millions and millions of people out here and if somebody pays extra for a lifetime and I, it, I paid extra for a lifetime a couple of times and I paid for, then they had something else, you know, lifetime for the software. And 
I don't know, lifetime for, because you're a sucker. I don't know what it is, but all of these companies, come on. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching, and maybe I'm going to be streaming every day. And uh, that reminds me, somebody left me, a, i got to find that. Somebody left a comment and said, uh, Tell me a, what kind of uh, processing and how much memory I have. I've, I've, I have six, 16 uh, megs of memory in my computer. He's, he wants to know, and he says, you know, he's experienced with uh, uh, OBS, and he could give me some pointers or whatever, but he needs to know. I think he was wanting to tell me the settings, but I think I've got the settings right. But I sure don't, I need to uh, actually go to YouTube. And, but anyway, I need to answer that guy and see what he, what he says. None of my family is really interested in, uh, I would love to have somebody who would, by the way, uh, YouTube is testing right now on a small number of people. Uh, so that a YouTube producer can have a different, you know, like YouTube person is, I don't know, Sistop or, you know, and you can have somebody else who has the ability to uh, delete videos or change some things. And somebody else could do do less. Somebody else could do, you know, whatever. And you could have it set up so you could have somebody help you. I would love to find somebody, and I know there's a bunch of you that I'm sure I could, I could trust. It would, uh, I'd, I'd just say, hey, you know, give them the power. Now, not the power to delete my YouTube channel, not the ability, you know, but the ability to do and like the ability to go through and when you see a video that's uh, no good, you know, uh, just delete it or download it and, uh, you know, delete it and then it'll be a cop. So uh, anyway, they're, they're working on, they haven't come out with it for everybody. In fact, I think very few people have that ability, but that's coming and, uh, I sort of want to keep videos so because I, I very rarely something happens, somebody will comment and I'll go back and look at a video that I made in 2005 or something and I'll go, oh my God, I, I forgot that, you know, I use such and such a camera. I forgot that you could see this or that. I forgot that the audio was so bad and all that kind of stuff. Oh, the rain and the, the, the view out the window in Florida and the, uh, all that kind of stuff, and it's, you know, brings back the memory of it. So I, I like to keep some of that stuff, but there's a lot of stuff that uh, could be deleted and uh, just, so anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hey, I didn't even tell you to be sure and use my Amazon link, did I? So I could get a commission. See, I didn't do it this time, did I? Thank you very much for watching, and I hope this turns out good.